All right, all right. This is DJ Blazing coming at you right now, and we are here interviewing a great guest today. But before we do that, we got not just one host, but two hosts. I'm talking about me, DJ Blazing, and James Slimington. What's going on with James Slimington? Oh, loyal peasants, loyal peasants. It is I, the great James Slimington, once again, the special agent and detective from Hugh Radio Nation Point Five's Criminal Show. Ah, man, you're classy, my friend, classy. But right now, we got Poncho in the building. Poncho, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Oh, man, you know, DJ Blazing, it's great to be here once again. And James Limington, it's great seeing you, brother. Uh, another two hosts. That is wonderful. Oh, excellent, excellent. Now, let's get down to business. First of all, the outcome of the classic basketball game. It was supposed to take place April 9th, but tell the people what happened. Yes, well, the basketball game, classic basketball game, was supposed to take place March 26th or 27th at first. But then it got moved to April 9th, and we were supposed to play on April 9th. It was going to be, it's, for those of you that don't know what a classic basketball game is, it's basically a 24 by 4 pickup basketball game, and you have to win by 4 points. But yeah, let's say if you got if your score is twenty three, and the other person's got nineteen. Well, if they score, if they get past twenty, then you play till the score of thirty two. But it's winner take all basically. And what was at stake was my practice radio show called Q Radio ninety seven point five. After the season four finale, uh, that was that's on the line. And by the way, that is still on the line and stuff. Whoever wants a shot at uh, Mr. Blazing, whoever wants to try to take uh, my practice radio show away from me, hey, the challenge, the classic basketball game is still available. Unfortunately, on April 9th, the uh, UPAC gym was closed. But there will be a day that me and Mr. 1000 will go at it. But, like I said, if anybody else wants a shot at Mr. Blazing, hey, the classic basketball game is still up for grabs until May 14th. So, whoever wants it, they can come and get it. Oh, man. You know, one day, hopefully we'll have that uh, game, man. Hopefully we'll have that game and looking forward to it. You know, uh, James Slimington, I had Poncho, man. I, Poncho, to me, was going to win. Oh, no, 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 no. DJ Blazing, now you see... K.K. Simmons, Mr. 1000 would have won because of his intensity and his passion. Oh, no sir, no sir, determination. No, 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 DJ Blazing, DJ Blazing, we were supposed to commentate that game, and K.K. would have crossed him up, he would have shot the three-pointer at him, and he would have took it all in Poncho's face, he would have made laves and everything. He would have stomped Poncho so bad that his cracker toes would make the skin of his feet turned yellow. Well, that may be true, but you know, Poncho is the main man. You already know. <sighs> but, have you solved your problems here in Pipeville? Have you solved your problems? Yeah, I mean, uh, for the most part, DJ Blazing, I have solved most of my problems here at Pipeville. You know, when I first came here to Pipeville, Kentucky, I was uh, blessed and honored to be here and in my mind I was like oh yeah I'm gonna be the big boss around here people gonna love me I'm gonna demand respect in my mind and people are gonna respect me and people are gonna do what I say but no that wasn't the case because I learned real quick that everybody is responsible for their actions and everybody has to earn their spot here at Pikeville and you Pike and just sure enough, hey, that came along. I was one of the first ones to have hard times and troubles. I was one of the first ones to have mistakes, and a lot of that I put on myself. But I have resolved most of my uh, situations, most of my problems here at Pike in Pikeville. And I was like to say right now to anybody that's watching uh, here in Pikeville, Kentucky, and you, Pike, I've done if I've done anything. To embarrass you all if I've done anything wrong against you all I'll apologize sincerely from the bottom of my heart because that's how I am I 
improve, I grow, and I've learned these past two years on what it's like to be a real man. So I thank God for giving, putting me, letting me go through experiences like that to humble me down, to make me be stronger in the Lord, make me be stronger in music, and to make me be a better Christian, have a better spiritual life, and be a better hip hop artist, and just give back to the world because that's what I do. I give back to the nation and give back to you, the U Pop fans and Pipeville fans. Let me ask you something, Pancho. Is the mission over? As of this moment, the mission is definitely over. I, you know, I did my job. I said I was going to be there on senior day, senior night. I said I was going to challenge the best, and I did. Uh, and I had the guts what nobody else had. I sat down with the UPI varsity basketball players. If anybody else would have done that, if anybody else would have sat down next to them, they would have either got fired, they would have got tossed, they would have got expelled, they would have got suspended. But it took guts what I did to sit right next to them. And that really taught me and opened my eyes a lot. Because athletes here, they work hard, they know what it's like to go through situations and hard times. And they've overcome all that. And I'm very proud of each and every single one of them. Uh, James Flemington uh, for going through problems and DJ Blazin because when you go through storms and trials it makes you stronger it makes you grow now if you go through that and it doesn't make you stronger grow then you was never meant to be real in the first place what's next in Pancho what is next for you Pancho uh, what's next for me, uh, just to grow spiritually, uh, go stronger in the Lord. I know God's got a lot of stuff, plans that he wants me to do. And just grow spiritually in music and give back to the people, like I said. You know, we're going to television and music. We've went global, we've went worldwide, but now it's time to hit the television. And now it's time to hit the big stage. So... That's going to be some big experiences. I'm looking forward to them. How will you move on from your past? Uh, yes, I've actually have moved on from a past. You know, it's difficult. I don't like to talk about especially stuff, especially the hard stuff that I went through. Like the fourth grade situation was really tough. And then just an incident uh, last year when I almost lost my whole music career, almost lost my education, almost lost my family. That's real hard and I don't like to talk about that at all. I, my, not even the ones close to me knows what happened. So that's how bad it hurts in a fourth grade situation. That When you go through something like that, it changes you mentally and emotionally. And when that happened, it changed me all completely like I tried to put it to the side and stuff but like especially around high school that's when it started really hitting me uh, I put a lot of people through pain and misery because of stuff that I went through and even when I came here to Pikeville the U Pike I, there's some people that I've done that I've put pain and misery through that should never have happened and then the fourth grade situation, it just hit me off. It just hit me like that in high school. And I I don't care how strong of a Christian you are. I don't care how popular or how much Holy Ghost you got. When you go through a situation like I did, when you go through a storm or something, a life-changing experience, it can make you or break you. And it almost broke me multiple times. But with the Lord and Savior Jesus on my side, with God on my side, I appreciate uh, going through something like that because that makes me go stronger. It helps me, and I can help somebody else in the world. So I thank God that I went through that so that way I can go stronger in the Lord. If things would have been done differently for you two years ago, what would you have done differently coming here to Pikeville, Kentucky? Uh, <laughs> differently, uh, uh, I would have been more polite to some people like 
Oh, uh, well, you know I'm polite, but yeah, d differently, the one thing I would have done is my approach would have been more enthusiastic. It would have been more, I wouldn't have been more nervous, but um, I really wouldn't change anything. Of course, me playing senior day at UPI basketball, I definitely would have changed that. I would have been on the court regardless. But, uh, no, I mean, there's really nothing that I would have done differently. Like I said, I just thank God for music. Thank God for a spiritual life. I've been saved, sanctified, filled to the Holy Ghost for 14 years. And thank God to give back to the people, give back to the nation, because that is what I do. Um, uh, that's why I miss the blazing. And I thank God for every single thing in my life.